Great, the time has come for us to start writing some PHP. All right, but before we do that, let's go to our root directory, make a shortcut and put it on our desktop because we need to put files there all the time and I don't want to be traveling from applications or programs, whatever in operating system you are. I don't want to be traveling a long way to find this folder. We got to find this folder, this folder right now. In Mac, in, if you are in a Mac, you can find it in your applications, in your XAM folder, and it's going to be HD Docs. Okay, that's the folder that we are going to be placing our courses, uh, course lectures and files, all that stuff is going to be right here. All right. Now, for Windows users, go to your pro go to your programs, go to ZAMP. In your C drive, you, you, should, you should find ZAMP. When you find ZAMP, I think it's computer, C drive, and then ZAMP, and then HD Docs. Okay, I think I showed you that when we were installing ZAMP. But anyways, find that. Create a shortcut. I'm going to make an alias because that's the way you create a shortcut in Mac. You right click and create an alias. I don't, they, dif they name it differently. It's a whole different animal, right? Just right click it for Windows and create a shortcut and drag it to your desktop, all right? So now that we have this here, we can go ahead and just click it and go straight to our root directory. And this is where we're going to be putting all our files. So it's right, what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to open our co editor, just open it up. And of course, we're going to have some files here, some default files. And I'm going to go back to the HD docs here. I'm going to right click it and I'm going to create a new folder called demo. This is going to be where all our files are going to be, all right? So we are going to drag this here. And now this is going to create, don't worry about that, going to create a new project for us. Here, all our files are going to be listed right here going down. I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to say embed. I'm going to make a new file called embed.php. Enter. Now, how do we start writing PHP? All right. Well, very simple. We have an opening tag just like HTML and a closing tag. This is the opening tag for PHP. Less than symbol, question mark, and then the keyword PHP. This is going to open PHP. It's going to let Apache know, hey, Apache, right now, Whatever you see after this, render it as PHP code. You know, PHP code here. And then, when you finish your PHP code, your command, you need to close it with a semicolon. Very important. Every time you finish a command, you need to close it. You need to let PHP know that you are done with this command and that you might write other commands here. So this is what the semicolon is. I'm done with this command, PHP. That's it, uh, Apache. I'm done with it. That's all it means. Now, this one here is the closing tag for PHP. All right. So if we don't have anything here, this would be the closing right there. Usually that's where you write it. You put it down all the way down. Then you write your PHP code here and then you put a semicolon and you're done. And then you write some more PHP code down here with a semicolon. Semicolon means stop this command right here and then you can write whatever other command after and close that command also. This one closes all the PHP commands, all right? And then after this goes HTML. So you can insert this in HTML right now, just the way it is. Another thing is that white space really doesn't matter in PHP. You can put all this in one line. You can bring this all the way down. You can put this code here, this code here, as long as you have a semicolon there, you're good to go. You can put that code like that. But, of course, we're not going to do that because that looks bad, right? Just to let you know, that really doesn't matter. All right? Another thing is that you will see PHP code written like this. Let me just leave this there. You will see it, you will see it like this. That's a shorthand version, and you will see it like this. Right here. You will see it like this. All right? These are the formats that you will see PHP. This, uh, this is bad form. The reason is, even even though it's easier to write like this, not all computers, not all servers, all Apache servers will be, this will be turned on on them, will not be turned on on them. You have to manually go to PHP DNI file and turn this on. So, for example, let's say you, you write a plugin for WordPress or Drupal when, when you become a programmer, right? And if you write it in this way, the people that are, have a, a, a server they have Apache running and they don't have if they don't have it turned on this would not work this would not work and this would not work all right so your code all of a sudden does not work in many people's computers 
or servers or websites or applications. It will not work. So this will work everywhere PHP is available by default. All right, it will always work. So that's why it is bad form. All right, that's one one thing there. And I wanted to also explain to you that if you have another file here, for example, um, example.html, and for some reason you try to put some HTML, uh, PHP coding here, it will not work. You can go ahead and try right now, but this will not display. It will not. It will not render PHP since this does not have a .php extension. You see, Apache looks at this and says, "You know what? This is HTML. Whatever is in this file is HTML. I'm not gonna even look for PHP." But when you tell Apache, when you put this extension here, .php, you're telling Apache that this file here might include some PHP. So be in the lookout for PHP Apache. You will see something there. That's what you're telling Apache when you are, when you have a .php extension, All right? So always make sure that you put your .php extension if you want your file to actually um, work, All right? So now that we have that, how do we look at files, right? How do we we see them on the screen? Let me write a simple function here in this embed.php here, and this is called an echo. This function here is gonna print out text on the screen right now. It's going to say hello student. There we go. And if I can write it and then we close it with a semicolon. Jeez, there we go. Save it. That's what it's going to do. It's going to, this is going to echo. All right. It's going to print something out. We put it in double quotes or we can put single quotes. That's how we write strings. All right. In strings, I mean tets. And that's the term that we use in programming string. All right. And then we close it with a semicolon and we close the PHP tags there. So I'm going to click on this little icon here for, for those that have brackets. And as you can see there, we can see that it display hello student. Now, this might not work for some of you because I already set up mine, but I'm going to help you set it up right now. If you click this, it might give you a window to tell you how to, you know, to set the, the base of this, right? The base uh, directory of this. And just close that box and go to File, Project Settings, and then here on File, Project Settings, then put this down. I'm, I'm sorry, put, put HTTP colon forward slash forward slash localhost and then the name of your folder where your files are going to be. And click Done. And then go ahead and close whatever browser you have on. If it's not working, close it and go ahead and turn this on again all right turn it on again until it's working or if you want to go ahead and if for some reason it's not working just go to the local host right here that's going to direct you to zamp right because it has an index there that is what it's doing is directing us redirecting us back to this folder i'm going to take this folder off and I'm going to type in the folder name and I'm going to click enter. And as you can see here, this is the index of demo. And here we got two files, the embed.php and the example.html. I'm just going to show you that example. There is nothing there and we have some PHP there, but it, it doesn't work. Well, let's, let's just put a function here real quick just to show you. Hello, there we go. And if I refresh doesn't work. Let me show you if I right click on and this is Google Chrome by the way. If I right click on this and choose view page source, we can see that the PHP is there but it's not rendering. Let's put some HTML here. I'm just going to put a h1 tag. Hello. All right. Refresh and we can see that that that's working. Let's take out this view source. Let's open this in Let's go to the demo there and go to the example.html and we can see the h1 but if we right click on it and we check on view source we can see the PHP is there but it's not working. So it doesn't work with the .html. Make sure you have that .php in there. 
All right. Another thing that I want you to install if you're using brackets is an extension called Emmet, and this is very really easy to install. Go to your file tab here, click on Extension Manager. Here we can install many different plugins for exactly for this co-editor, and type in E M M E T Emmet. All right. I already have it installed, so this is gonna be grayed out, but you're going to have a little button like this here that's going to say install. Just click it and it will install this automatically. The reason why I want you to install that is because it's going to make you a better programmer. Let me tell you why. You're going to be a lot more productive when you actually use this. Now that you have it installed, right, I want you to put an exclamation there with the shift key and the, you press number one on your keyboard. And then after the, the exclamation there, you put your cursor here and you press on tab. Look at that. We wrote all this code just by doing that. And we can do many different things with it. So that's one of the reasons I want you to uh, do that. So let's say, for example, I have something here, a class with a, a day with a class of demo, and then I want to put a UL there. And let me just show you the power of this. You might think, what in the world is he doing? Well, look at this. All right? This is the type of things that we will do. now. I won't do this all the time since, and if I do, for those of you that don't have this code editor, I will wait for you, all right? So I will wait for you to write this, and I will go slowly. So don't worry about me writing code too fast. I just want my students that download the brackets to know that this is available to them if they want to, all right? Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video here. Let's go to the next lecture. I want to show you some more PHP.